Hello everyone, this is Instructor Victor Campos and uh, welcome back to CIS 165 JavaScript Programming. Let's talk about the software that you're going to need. Now, you'll be able to do this class on Windows or Mac, uh, no problem. Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, whatever. Mac OS 10, Yosemite, Mavericks, El Capitan, whatever. You'll be able to do it with any kind of computer and just about any kind of software because JavaScript is pretty universal but here are my recommendations for this class number one we're gonna to need to see the result of our work in a web browser and you can use any web browser you want of course but I'm gonna recommend Google Chrome you can of course download it for free you just go online search Google Chrome and basically download it and install it for your system Windows or Mac so you need Google Chrome you could do the class with Firefox Opera Internet Explorer Safari whatever you want but just so that we're kind of on the same page I'm gonna recommend Chrome what you'll also need is a software called Visual Studio Code we're gonna be writing code of course mostly JavaScript but also a little bit of HTML and CSS and we can use just about any editor to write this code one that I'm gonna recommend for the class is called Visual Studio Code it's free so here's how you get it open up a web browser and go to the address visualstudio.com Visual Studio is big famous software from Microsoft a big famous company and they've got uh, various software packages out there but the one that we want is Visual Studio Code totally free for Windows Mac and Linux so whatever version that you need on the right side you should see it should detect if you're on a Mac to download for Mac and if it doesn't you should see download for Mac and if you're on Windows you should see that it detects Windows and if it doesn't you should see the button to download for Windows and if you're on Linux well you know what you're doing but anyway let's say I'm gonna download the Windows version I'm running Windows 7 at the moment and I will click and it'll pop up to download so I would let that download and as it's downloading perhaps read this getting started screen it's very useful Visual Studio is a lightweight but powerful source code editor which runs on your desktop and is available for Windows, OS X, and Linux. Blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and read that. Maybe some of this stuff doesn't quite make sense. But the point of this is that Visual Studio code is a civilized code editor. It's color-coded. It gives you hints in your typing. It's very cool. What I would do is also take a moment to look at the first steps, the intro videos, read some of this stuff over here. You don't need to be a pro at Visual Studio and I'll be talking about the best way to use it, but it wouldn't hurt to go over to the intro videos for example and watch some of these. They're just about three minutes to six minutes long. Check these out at some point. Download Visual Studio code, install it with all the defaults, and once it installs, you'll have this code editor that we will use extensively to write our code. So, we'll get to this part, of course, eventually. But that's the software that you need to succeed in this class. Visual Studio Code and Google Chrome.